the upper atmosphere. The front part of that heat shield is approximately the temperature of the sun, 1600 degrees centigrade. Once we get through the atmosphere, we're going to open up a parachute. Once we open up that parachute, we're going to slow down from approximately uh, supersonic down to approximately 200 miles per hour. And then we're going to start what I like to call reverse origami. We're going to start unfolding the vehicle. We're going to lose that heat shield that was really hot because we don't want to get that heat. And we're going to lower our lander on more or less a shoestring. At this point, we have radar that's looking down toward the surface. We slow down to about 200 miles an hour. The parachute's starting to slow us down. We acquire the surface and we inflate our airbags. Inflating the airbags takes approximately a half a millisecond, a little less than what it takes to blink an eye. Once we get close to the surface, we acquire the surface and we cut a tether and we bounce. And we bounce. And we bounce. The first bounce on the surface of Mars can be mm, anywhere from 40 times the gravitational pull that you feel. So imagine instantly, instantaneously feeling 40 times heavier than you are now. And literally you can bounce over every building that you have down here in downtown Calgary. Right? No problems. You know, able to leap a, you know, a, a building in a single bound. We'll bounce for about a mile, you know, 1.6 kilometers. Then we'll deflate our airbags. That takes about 45 minutes. Now we're going to open up our lander pedals. Uh, once we do this, it's going to take, its actuators are very strong, the things are opening up, those pedals are very strong, but it takes a long time, it's about an hour to do that in real life. And now I'm going to stop and I'm going to watch. So beautiful. Alright, we've got to get this last thing to go. Go! this a thousand times, but every time I see those solar rays open, I'm really excited. <laughs> it's going to work. Oh. So now, once we get the solar rays open, we're starting to make power for the vehicle. We're going to pull up what we call our pan cam mass. That's the eye of the vehicle. That helps us see. And once you land on a planet, another planetary body, what is the first thing you want to do? You want to look around and see what's going on. So we take an image. We're going to look around at that. what's around us, and we're going to take an image. And then you're going to see the sun set on Mars. Now the next day, when the, sun, when the sun rises, what we're going to do is we're going to stand the vehicle up. We're going to finish the origami, the reverse origami. The vehicle's going to stand up. So right now the vehicle's probably about, the camera's about this tall. And when we stand up, the camera's going to get to about five foot two. So it seems like a human being would be on the surface. So we're going to stand up the vehicle, we're going to deploy the front wheels, and we're going to get ready to drive. Now, what you're seeing happen here in three days in this image actually took 12 days for spirit on the surface of Mars. It took opportunity eight days to do exactly what you're seeing in this, in this image. So once we stand up, we want to take another image. We want to look around at everything that's around us. And then we're going to send all that information back to Earth. So the scientists can go, ooh, what are we going to go explore? Spirit and Opportunity actually were set to go look at the history of the rocks. They're geologists. Their job was to look for, was Mars once a wet place? Was there water on Mars? Or follow the water. And so we want to find that history in the rocks. So we're going to go up and we're going to check out the rocks. We're going to break them open. We're going to sniff them and we're going to smell them. We're going to use some of our instruments. So now you're going to see the sunset one more time. And then when the rover wakes up on the third day, you're going to see us change the, the position of the lander pedals. That's so that we get some stability as we drive off. And you're going to see the rover drive on to Mars. Now at this point, the engineering job, what really went on behind the scenes is pretty done. And we're going to start the science mission. So you see the rover drive off here. We're going to get six fuels on Mars. Very exciting time. And then the rover's going to drive. When we build Spirit and Opportunity, we actually design them to last on the surface of Mars for 90 days and to drive 600 meters. I can say that it's been for Opportunity 10 years on the surface, and she's still exploring today.